Hey guys, uh, Ronan, well, Wandering yeah. Shell. And we are back with the last set of levels for this floor. Yay! Um, first thing we're going to do is the longest one. <sighs> it's the, um... Detective. The Detective Pikachu fight of death. Detective. Pikachu fight? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you get one wrong answer, Pikachu electrocutes you to death. To death? Yes. Not even just a no. quick little zap? You have to start all over again. From level one. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> I probably right. would never be able to play that game. Alright, so, um... Again, we'll just restate the audience. We're doing post-audio. Um, mm. We've actually already tried recording the audio mm. for this once now. And it crashed halfway, or actually right near the end. It crashed yeah. at the 40 minute mark. Um, so, but because it didn't save, we have to restart all the audio again. Yep, so we have to see the detective thing all over again. Alright, so. The most boring one. Yeah, so, stuff to note Michelle playing, yeah. I commentarying, we both commentarying because we were watching. And um, Peach can accuse everybody of everything because she is consent, and she is right. See? She's always right. She's the princess. Mm. The princess is always right. She's queen. She's princess. The where's the queen? The king. So if you play the old Super Mario, uh, I think it's Super Mario World Three. It actually you're saving the kings. Like the king yeah. and uh, Princess Peach is not really seen. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I guess technically she's a queen, she's a princess. So because mm -hmm. he brings up that Peach is his daughter. Right. But, so there is a king. Yes. Oh. King Toast. So he's the, a giant mushroom. So the so how do you do uh, yep. Isn't it like a thing where it's like, mm -hmm. oh, it's the crown on her head or something? Oh, yeah. No, that's how you get, um, princess, uh, that's how you get like toadstool. Peachette, which yeah. is, uh, Toadette, uh, with the crown. Yeah. Or Bowsette, which can be that type of thing. Um, but people made it as. Yeah. But, uh, it, I'll say it was the 80s and they were just trying to make a fun game and didn't think that far ahead. Question mark? <laughs> da da da! Da da Okay, we have to go back to the game that we're playing. Slash watch it. Slash play it. <laughs> Alright, so the detective had enough time but he was captured. To leave a note saying, hey, to open this door, this is what you do. He knew. He knew he was going to be captured. He's that good of a detective. Well, he was captured and he wrote that. It literally says, I've been captured. Here is how you get through the door. I wonder if he, he knew he was going to get captured. Or like, he's like, just a matter of time, I will be captured. I better write this note. <laughs> and so where I am, I just throw my note. Then he will understand. Um, so, <laughs> because this takes so long, we did end up looking up, um, how, where to find everything, because we did not want to have to play through this multiple times. Yeah. So, um, you're going to see us know to do something in a few seconds that, uh, probably wouldn't make any sense to just do it for the first try. Right. Because we looked it up. Every one of these stupid guys are all uh, the thieves. Or the gang, I guess, the great gang. I don't know what you want to call it. Mm -hmm. They're not who they seem to be. And then, he's the only one you actually have to reveal as being fake because he's the only one blocking you from uh, finishing the, the, the first puzzle. objective. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, 
So this is where we do the weird thing. Um, the puzzle normally... <laughs> the, port of the puzzle normally would just be um, face all the tiki statue heads forward. It's However, right. if you look on your right, you'll see that elevator there. And oh. that elevator brings you upstairs to reveal a, another one of these statue, tiki head statues, facing mm, the right. Or is it facing right? Mm -hmm. okay. Facing right? Uh, whatever direction we have them all face. I think um, it's to facing to the it's left. Facing left because we're still playing with mm -hmm. them. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so all of them have to face left, and then their mm -hmm. nose will light up in purple, ah. which indicates that we did it right. And then when you go upstairs, you rescue Robin. 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 We had an entire episode where we didn't oh, talk no. about. I'm not going through this again. We had like three episodes actually that we talked about. I mean, I'm uh, not going through this again. In Ragnarok. Nope. Not doing it again. Uh, Ooh, Ragnarok. 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 I thought you would forget him by now. No, how can you forget? He's the best character. And he shows up all the time in all these different games. No, he does not. Oh, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Uh -huh. Alright, where's Bobby Kiss in this one? We met him earlier. Where? He was the guy with the ribbon. No, he and Ribbon are the same person. No. Uh -huh. ah. You're saying that Bobby mm. just can't have an alias? No. Why not? It doesn't matter what you say, Bobby just does what he wants. What the hell is Bobby Kiss? We went over this! No! There was a statue! In Ragnarok, uh, revolving around Bobakus. We went yes. around and talked about his backstory, how he was the best friend of Kratos and helped slay the Persian army that tried to murder him and his family. Uh, it's all in the lore. What lore? The Bobakus lore. No! Yes! Who the frick is Bobakus? Bobby Kiss. Who? I don't know who's Bobby Kiss. Kiss. That's what you are. <laughs> Alright, so this one puzzle is very simple. You literally go one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's a big unlit light on the front, and you just have to select them in the correct order. Mm -hmm. So complicated. At least it would be interesting if it's like. <laughs> You have to read the no to be like, okay, he said two, three, four. I think it would have been better if instead of saying two, three, four, it's like, it's like each guy gave you a hint towards one of the ones in the correct order or something. Yeah. Like, you could describe it by color or by, like, shape or face something. or shape. Yeah. Like, for this one. Oh. The third one is the third one is got a bright light or something, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But instead, they decided. I what feel like they gave up after the first one, which had a little bit of like you actually have to do some thinking. Yeah, interrogating and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the second one wasn't wasn't that much like interrogation mm -hmm. and thinking. Of, oh, this is how this works. This is. Maybe this is it. Maybe that is it. Right. This one is literally just <laughs> look at the. It's it's like uh, spot the difference and oh, yeah. uh, can you count to three or to four? Right. All right. And again, this episode is going to be a long one just because of hey, this. Literally, yeah. Ma this is literally what takes forever. Not a single other. Uh -huh. 
um, level takes as long as the uh, detective ones. Yeah, I mean, we're already 10 minutes in, and we're not done. It's about 25 minutes, I think, for the, uh... Detective? <laughs> detective one alone. Uh, it's a it's such a long one, and it's mostly dialogue. That yeah. is the issue. Oh. Well, it's detective. What, do, what else are you gonna do? Right, but it's, like, uninteresting dialogue, and it's just, like, super <laughs> generic. Oh, fine, the real detective, okay. But uh, because of how long it takes to load the uh, the text boxes, yeah. it increases it to like five minutes. I mean, that was a, a 30 second conversation right there that is still taking forever. Yeah. Well, because we also have to try to read it too. Yeah, we were reading it out loud. I, most of the levels we were reading all of the stuff out loud, but. At this point, I just want to get it done since we freaking lost the recording already. Yeah. Technically, this is twice now that we lost the recording for this, if you count the first audio being screwed up. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So, we did the first playthrough where the audio got screwed up. Then we did the audio recording over the video last night, which got screwed up and crashed my entire computer. But now we're doing it again. Yay. I think this is the detective. Uh -huh. didn't want to play along with the whole thing. It was just like, yeah, you're the detective. Okay, done. Bye. Let's I go. can't keep reading it. It's just like, yep, yeah, I know. Let's go. You are. I just want to reading it the whole time. I get tired of hearing. You get tired of hearing my voice? No, I get tired. You're mean. <laughs> Guys, she's mean to me. No. She's picking on me. Oh, go cry to Bobacus. I did. He said to do this. No. No. Told you. Oh, God. Well, this one. Okay, so this is... We waste a lot of time here for no what reason. I thought was going to be a good puzzle. It's not. No. It, it's literally... Just spot the difference. Yeah, and even then, it's a little obvious. So, the way I thought this was going to work, okay, you look at each item, and it gives you a quick description of what the item is, as you can see. I was expecting, when you go and you have to ID the difference, what it actually ends up being is, like, you have to look at each item, and each item, like... Maybe one item has a slightly different description. It's like, oh, this one says it's brass instead of silver. Or this has, this globe has an extra continent on it, you know? Yeah. No. So instead, what it does is literally just, here's the picture, pick the difference. Yep. <laughs> That's it. Which, again, if... It didn't take this long, and they would have explained it more thoroughly of just figure out what is missing. Mm -hmm. Fine, but it doesn't. They're, they kind of imply that, hey, you need to know everything about each one of these items. Right. And then they don't really explain that you're supposed to go back through the same door that you went through. No, because then there's a question of what are we doing now? I don't know, we just sit there. Which is why we're sitting there discussing it right now. Yeah. In there, and then we're like, uh, I guess there's no door this way, right? Yep. Okay. But then it's like, how do we get through? Oh, the other door. So as you can see, it's the exact same thing, just one item is missing. I wonder which item. We should, we should, have, we should have returned to the previous room we came from. But how oh, straight. <laughs> <sighs> it appears in mysterious space. There must be clues around here. A clue? A uh, Pika clue. Pika clue? Pika clue? I literally was thinking, again, 
this is when I was like, oh, we might have to, like, look at each of these items and now see if it's, the description is different. But Michelle didn't want to waste the time. She's like, no, we'll just go check back. Since, obviously, <laughs> you can tell that the stupid magnifying glass on the left is missing. What? <sighs> I would never guess. We seem to be trapped in two rooms. We're trapped in twine! Because I thought that's what you were saying, like, the kind of, like, uh, what's it called? Robin Hood made a nice. Fine. Anyway, so. Ow. Why? Pulling on my neck. Sparkle. It's appropriate for this game. Yeah. Um, okay, so obviously it's way too big to pick up. Also, I don't know about that. Like, what makes you say that a magnifying glass is too big to pick up? Like, it doesn't look that big. It looks a little bit larger than the one that he has. Yeah, but even then, I guess because it's supposed to be a statue, so it's heavier. I guess, it's just kind of silly. Yeah. Alright, and then of course we are in this area. I see. To be fair, this area, like when they do this, it's the most pointless one for the detective. Where all the other ones have like, use your ability and your tricks, and the, this is just like, which box is shiny? Yeah, literally. Because I know nobody likes the detective one. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't mind it, and if it was more interesting or required more Indeed. thought, I think I'd be fine with it. <laughs> but it's just... Meh. Meh. And then, when you go to play through it a second time, it doesn't change. No. Like, that was my hope, is this change every time you play the detective one. Mm. Not, like, a huge change, but, like... Just enough where it's like, oh, I can go back to this and be entertained. Right. Like, the clues are slightly yeah. different, or the hiding spots of the villains are different, or yeah. something, you know? I guess too much hmm. hope for that. Yeah, too much. Alright, so this is the final section, of course. The questionable uh, junior detective seems to be trying to get us to go through a door, which after going through every other one of these uh, Stella Rescue, uh, Sparkla Rescues, you would know is not the right exit. What? So then, of course, the detective has to detect his detection skills on detecting. You okay there? Detect. Okay. Huh? I wasn't sure if you were okay or not. So, and this is probably the best part of this game, uh, of this part of the story, uh, detective story, whatever you want to call it, because it throws back to the previous two levels of what the junior detective said. Um, because, like, right here he's talking about, if you're supposed to meet somebody at nine, what time do you get there? And the junior detective, the fake junior detective here, goes... At nine, of course. Meanwhile, in the previous level, Junior Detective says, if you're not five minutes early, you're late. Yeah. Same thing with the first question about the, uh, uh, the pillows, and then this one's about Lady Grape. Yeah. Um, like how great she is or something. Yeah, what do you think of her? And he's, he's like, kind of trying to pretend to not like her, but... <laughs> yeah. That's the only one that I kind of find shoehorned in, so, like, I guess it's because if little kids didn't read through the, uh, dialogues, they wouldn't know to accuse the junior detective of being the fake junior detective. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yay! It's done! Alright, and then... So... This is the end of the detective section, um, which is exactly 20 minutes, buddy. Oh my lord. That goes half the video. That is literally half the length of the video. We might cut it a little bit more, because uh, the next area is us going to be fighting the boss. 
Um, so, mm -hmm. might just cut to... Case closed. Thank you so much. The section where we actually beat him. So, we didn't beat him the first time. No. Um, Michelle, Michelle fought him once, lost, and then I took over and I battled him. Um, and that. So, I'll be, I'm the one who will be playing on that section. Um, but we will leave the actual, like, gameplay and everything, uh, you know, everything leading up to it. So, yeah. alright, so... I don't know why we decided we were going to try and do that before we actually got to the other dialogue stuff getting finished here. Um, the detective thanks us, and then he wanders off, and we're going to cut out this section here actually because this is just us going up and buying new outfits and then uh, going to the boss. So we'll see you at the beginning of the boss level, okay? Okay. All right, guys. So, this is the uh, boss battle. This is uh, Spot Lion. Yes. Yes. Um, Are we doing the dialogue in this one? I mean, we'll do the dialogue for the uh, cutscene. Obviously, this part we're not going to do the dialogue for because it's the same every freaking time. Yeah. How many cellos do I need to take from you? Oh, most of them. Okay. Thank you. Now I'll unlock the door. Okay. It takes two seconds and two minutes to unlock the door. So I don't know why, but it did. It's a lot of Stellas. Like, if you could put in the uh, with each Stella or something, that would be fine. Mm. But, like, he's not. It's just, woo, arm flapples. Flapples? Flapples. Like, falafel. Uh, I see what you did there. Uh, Alright. Alright, Michelle dialogue time. Oh, God, I have to get closer. Wait, <laughs> it's Peach, 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 and Stella. How dare you two make a mess of my glorious place? Hmm. Clearly, I under underestimated you. I suppose at this point, I could even call you rivals, which is mildly amusing to me. Despite your efforts, my preparations to build the ultimate stage for my ultimate tragedy are well underway. <laughs> Unfortunately, you won't be here to see it. Spot, it's playtime. Be a dear and deal with these pesky rodents, will you? <laughs> the big one. <laughs> Alright, so, we're going, like I said, we're going to cut after this scene just because, well... I failed horribly. We're only going to do one Let's Play of this, okay? So we'll see you in just a sec, guys. Alright guys, so, this is me playing now, um, just to save us on time. Because I'm really bad at it. This boss battle we're looking at the uh, duration. It's still a long boss battle. It's like a 10 minute fight. Or a 5 minute fight. So the objective here is to bounce back all of his uh, balls. And the best way to do it is like... Basically you have to try and hit it at the right angle. So uh, when he's reflecting it, it's mostly in the right Like when he's in that shoulder space, it's just a little bounce off of everything. Yeah. He's not difficult to battle in any way. It's just if you memorize the uh, patterns. Technically, you could have beaten him before he does the second part of the which is the little uh, laser grid thing that he does Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
gun uses more wall and not it. This is the one I can't figure out how. I'm guessing we should be able to reflect those, but for the life of me, I do not know how to fucking do it. Right. I know how to reflect it you know, in any direction, but specifically towards him, I don't know. Yeah, especially how it goes. Oh, this one was just. Yeah, well, this is. Again. This is where I was just, it's my first attempt at this, so I wasn't 100% sure how it worked. But depending on what direction you get the ball in, that also affects how it works. Um, I still wish there was something to do with that. But it's a little silly. Yeah, like you can bounce a laser at So. As you can see, I accidentally um, killed the reflection. And not him. And not him. Because apparently that middle part is a reflective surface, and I didn't realize that. I thought it was uh, like a background image or something. Oh, yeah. I can see why. Uh, I guess maybe I could hit those angle ones back at him. Because it looked like it was just about the right timing, but he went through. Mm -hmm. I end up accidentally hitting the reflection the second time. Yeah, it just it eats up hot. That's the only thing. take damage from it, but you still, but hit you it. still get considered get taking a hit. So it's a weird little condition. Yeah. Anyway, but there goes the boss. Um, and now, we just have one last thing to do, which is the rehearsal. But first, we have to watch everything clean up and look beautiful. No more grapes? No more grape on this level. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> yeah! So much of the theater is back to its previous shiny sp splendor, and it's all thanks to you, Peach! Yay! <laughs> Your sparkle is the best. We should uh, make a play about you. Great. I don't think you want to. But before we can do that, we've got to do something about Grape. The top floor is next. Maybe she's there. Hmm. I doubt it. Alright, so. Rehearsal! Rehearsal. For Kung Fu. This is a Kung Fu rehearsal. Um, this one's a little bit of a weird level. Um, it takes that one concept of the Kung Fu battle, which was grab the uh, thing and spin around in circles, uh. and multiplies that by a hundred. Yeah. I'm not very good at it to begin with. So let's just add more to it. So. But you can't get hit either. Yeah, no hits. And, uh, yeah. That's just pretty much it. This 
<laughs> so I already cut Michelle's attempt out um, just to save us some more time. This is actually the attempt that I I did that we got um, this, the gold star on, or the gold cup on. To be honest, it's very uh, easy. Michelle tried it once, got just under halfway. I tried it once, I I beat the whole thing, but I didn't get gold. I had I was down by two knockouts. Yeah. So as you can see, we already got the gold at 105. So even if we lost right now, we, we still would still it. be able to get it. But we can finish all of them all. And there's no bonus for like knocking out every enemy. Yay, no, there's nothing there. No. But that will be it for that. Um, rehearsal. That was easy. Yeah, they give you a lot of enemies to get that number up high, and literally all your enemies only take one hit to knock out, so... Yeah. Makes it easier. Yeah. You just gotta time it right, that's all it is. Yay, there we go. We got all of them. Um, we got the checker dress, which makes no sense for the Kung Fu outfit. Yeah. But, either way. I don't know why. Alright. So, we have the fifth floor, and then of course the first floor, we're going to go back and look at all the dresses now, because dresses... I'm dead, dresses. They're still going. Like six hours ago. I know. Alright, come on. We have to wait for it to load. So, we have just the last five levels of... That's not bad. This. No. So that's for the feeding spot. Then, Nothing for Stella. I mean, that, that was it. it. Yeah. Alright, uh, we're gonna run upstairs to level 5 real quick just to see what it looks like. If I'm not mistaken, we have the mermaid, we have Kung Fu, we have power. So, superhero. Yeah, and um, I'm missing one. Who's, my, who's our last one? Bakery? No, we did bakery. Uh, ice skating. Ice skating. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. All right, so that will do it, guys. Till next time, Ron and Will. Ron and Michelle. Later. Bye.